Hey guys, it's Kim from The Celebration Shop, and I'm going to share with you today a Thanksgiving craft. I'm going to monogram some pumpkins. We got these Funkins from Joann's Fabric and Craft Stores, and these are like foam fake pumpkins. You can do, you can paint them, you can embellish them, you can carve them, and then you can save them from year to year. So they're really a great product. And what I did is I wasn't sure exactly which monogram I wanted to use or which letter I wanted to use, so I printed off a couple of fonts on my printer, and then I just cut them down and I attached them to the pumpkin with tape. And I would suggest that you would get, um, like when you go and pick out your pumpkin, just look for one that you think is going to sit right, one that's got not a flat spot, but one that would you know, lend itself to being um, embellished with a monogram or whatever it is that you wanted to put on it. And so then I also picked up this really cool um, Martha Stewart hole punch. It's got three different hole punch sizes in it, and I'm using the largest one for this project. Okay, guys, so now that everything's taped down, I've actually already gone ahead and punched a few of them, but I want to show you guys how easy it is to punch these. So taking this Martha Stewart punch, I mean, it's, it's like a spring action. This thing's like a spring action, so it's actually super, super simple. And I would just say, as you go along, try to make sure that your punches are evenly spaced apart. Okay, guys, so I showed you what it looks like whenever we just use the punch to follow the monogram, and I actually think it looks very nice, although it is a little faint. So what I'm going to do is actually paint each one of the dots, and the nice thing is, is it's sort of like, you know, when you're coloring as a kid and you're staying inside of the lines, these dots sort of do the same thing. So I'm using two different colors. My home decor is a bit of um, like an orange, like a burnt orange or a burnt red. And so I'm going to make my monogram a combination of those two colors. So I really love this paint by uh, Martha Stewart. It's a habanero. It's a really bright red, which is too bright for what I want to do. But then I have this metallic copper color as well. So I've mixed the two and I've made my own color. And now I'm going to use that to embellish um, this pumpkin. And the nice thing is, is I have this really cool uh, Martha Stewart paintbrush as well. It's a super fine tip. Um, and the bristles stay together really well, so they actually come to a fine point. And because there is a little bit of this um, indention on the pumpkin, the paint sort of just stays right in there. It's sort of like coloring inside the lines. Fabulous, right? So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, I'm done. Only took a couple of moments. I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to put it with the rest of my decor. Okay, here's my newly monogrammed, embellished pumpkin with the rest of the decor that I have sitting on my mantle. And see how you can, it's much more noticeable now that I put the paint on the small dots. Another thing you could do though is you could use the uh, hole punch to make the monogram and then you could drill it all the way through and place candles on the inside. I hope you guys like this craft as much as I did. Come and visit me at thecelebrationshop.com.